show you really what percentage of, of weight you should be using close to your relative to your optimal to get maximum muscle recruitment. And we're going to show you guys in a scientific way how this is done. So, Dr. Jacob Wilson, what do you got for us? Well, here's the thing. Every time Ben lifts weights, his brain sends a signal to his muscles, an electrical signal. And using science, we can pick up that signal and see what areas of his muscle he's actually activating. So if Ben wants to bring his lats out wider, for example, we can test that and see what exercises, what angles optimize that activation. You see the peaks in the bicep, probably at the bottom of the range where I'm using it to initiate the movement a little bit. So as we go along, we've got about a 10 part series for you guys that's gonna overcome all the bodybuilding myths from when should you be doing your cardio? What's the optimal amount of muscle damage? What's the optimal amount of blood sugar to get optimal muscle burning? Uh, what's, how high can we really take our fatty acids in our blood while doing cardio? How long duration cardio? We've got a whole bunch of things as far as nutrition, as far as uh, recovery, as far as inflammation, even testing my body fat, my muscle thickness, my fat thickness using ultrasound. We've got some really, really cool, really technologically advanced scientific procedures for you guys. We brought along a couple guys from the lab to help us, and we're going to blow your mind. Less weight and getting more actual back recruitment. 90 degrees is where I'm going to get optimal range of motion. <clears throat> That wasn't easy.